Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. This is a very special run. We're starting at the title screen, which you know means this is going to be unique. Uh, this is a run that I have titled As You Wish, but it was suggested on the YouTube comments for an earlier video by PAA Koopa. Pa Koopa is what I'm going to go with here. Very interesting run. I'm going to start it up here and then I'll talk about the actual conditions of it. So, this run, we start with no items. I mean, we have the D6, but that's irrelevant, basically. After we finish each boss, we're allowed to use the cheat engine to give ourselves one item of our choice, essentially. But beyond that, I can't go to shops. I, I mean, I can go, but I can't pick up anything from shops. I can't pick up anything from item rooms. I can't pick up that uh, uh, tiny rock or small rock. I totally forgot the name of it there. But at the, every time I defeat a boss a, in a boss room, and the reason I say boss instead of floor is because on this floor, obviously, and all XL floors will basically be completing two floors in one, which would make it unfair if I was only getting one item per floor. Uh, but at the end of every boss, I have the capability to open cheat engine and give myself one item of my choice. And the goal, of course, on a run like this is going to be able to beat Blue Baby. Uh, so this is basically going to be a choose-your-own-adventure. And you might think, well, this run seems like super imbalanced in favor of Northern Lion because, you know, he gets one item of his choice per floor. You're not necessarily wrong. Time will tell uh, whether this run is balanced or not. But worth noting is the fact that normally you get one or two items per floor uh, via the shop as well as the item room. So one item of my choice, does this beat one item... Or, sorry, does this beat two items that I don't get to choose? In many cases, I think the answer to that question is going to be yes, but we'll see. Anyway, I'm just going to go immediately for this boss room here, because once we finish this... Well, I mean, there's nothing else really waiting for us here on this floor. Uh, so we might as well just go to the boss room as soon as possible. I'm pretty sure I have a, a strategy in place for what's going to happen here. Uh, my thinking is that I will probably take Mom's knife... Oh, that was bad. Uh, I'll probably take Mom's knife from this first boss fight. And then, because I want to stack up damage as high as it'll possibly go, so I'll probably take Mom's Knife. Then I might start taking uh, all stats upgrades after that, like SMB Super Fan, stuff like that. I'm not sure if duplicate items are allowed. Uh, and then, like, once we get down to the womb, maybe, once uh, by that point I should have enough Red Heart containers that I could take an item like Guppy's Paw that will persistently, or I could just take the nail, I guess. Actually, taking the nail early might be our best possible option. But anyway, obviously I can't take Jesus Juice, but having completed this boss, I'm gonna open up Cheat Engine here, which you guys should be able to see. Just so that we got full disclosure here. Uh, add item when entering next room, and I'm gonna scroll all the way down to Mom's Knife here, which is usually fairly close to the end. Fairly close to where, um, I think it's around here. Maybe, yeah, there we go. And then we're just gonna back out into this room. That's going to give us Mom's Knife. We're going to turn this off. We're going to quickly turn this off as well. And maybe I'll go for the Nail next, just so we have that opportunity to get as many Spirit Hearts as possible. But anyway, first things first, we're going into the next room here. We're going to be fighting Famine, which would normally give us Cube of Meat. But obviously, uh, that's not going to be the case here. And this boss fight certainly went a lot faster than the last one, so let's quickly go back here, add uh, item when entering next room. And I do think, oh, that was an accident. I do think uh, that the nail is going to be our best option here. And usually those are around, like, other deal with the devil items. So let's look here quickly. Do, 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 do. Maybe around mom's knife again. But I forget what that is. I always lose where things are. There we go. There's the nail. So we'll pick that up. Down to the next floor. So mom's knife and the nail on the first few floors. I think that's good. Now what we might want to do now is just start stacking, like, battery charges and damage. So, like, battery, 9 volts and a ton of damage. Or maybe even Nun's Habit would be a good pickup early, but I want to get some things in place that, that will benefit me in the long term as well. Like, not just short term. I mean, the nail is, is going to benefit me long term, but I think if I focus too much on getting, like, battery charges and stuff like that, we might face some problems. Other good items, especially as we get further and further along in the game, I, I think, um... Certainly, like, the wafer could be a potentially good pickup. We'll see. My voice just totally cracked there, which is unusual for me. Uh, you know being an adult male. Uh, but what this does mean is that now that I have the nail, I'll probably explore... I, I can take uh, trinkets, by the way. I'll probably explore like the entirety of every single floor, because obviously I want maximum opportunity to get as many spirit arts as possible saved up for the rest of the game. Well, we've already lost our first spirit art from the nail. Maybe this was not the greatest pickup, but hey, it could add up over time. So I think I am going to try to stack spirit hearts. 
I mean, there, the other option is I could just try to stack HP. Uh, and then turn that into Spear Darts with Guppy's Tail. Or sorry, Guppy's Paw. However, I think it's a better idea to do things this way. Get the battery built up, and then I can focus on adding damage later, if that makes any sense. Anyway, hopefully you more or less understand what I'm getting at here. For this floor, I'm not going to take the boss, or I'm not going to take the new item after I beat the boss. I'm going to take the new item uh, after I finish the floor. So I'm going to try to stick again with the spirit of the challenge run here. Finish this floor with the items I, I gave myself on the last floor, and then move on. So I'm taking a staggeringly stupid amount of damage. Hopefully this guy gives me bombs, because obviously I'm incapable of taking any other items. If I'm trying to be uh, an honest guy here. He's dead. We get bombs and keys. Uh, the keys don't really benefit me, I guess, because there's no point for me to go to bomb or to shops or item rooms. Uh, but certainly the, you know, the bombs could eventually... And the keys could give me golden chests, I guess. They could give me more bombs and keys and red hearts and spirit hearts. Uh, but the bombs are beneficial because they can give me those spirit hearts. So yeah, I think maybe we'll go... Uh, maybe even... I'm thinking like battery... Nun's Habit Wafer seems like a really good combination, right? Because if I get Nun's Habit Wafer... Let me think about how that works in the womb. I'll get a Spirit Heart every time I get hit. Or sorry, every two times I get hit and I'll take... Okay, I think... I think we'll start with Nun's Habit here. And hopefully that will allow me to build up uh, some good... Oh, we got some items maybe here. Yeah, why not? Uh, hopefully that will allow me to build up a nice variety of Spirit Heart charges. Then maybe we'll get like Quad Shot or Polyphemus because I want to get incredible damage on Mom's Knife. Obviously it's not immediately that important because we're, we have such incredible damage already considering we're only on the Catacombs Part 1. Um, but, you know, we'll see. I think on this floor, after this floor I should say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with Nun's Habit. Which is a decision that I think will, will pay off. Not only in the short term, but in the long term as well. Obviously, especially if I get the wafer. I'll probably pick up the wafer maybe after the mom boss fight, but that'll depend on how things are going overall, of course. That was awful damage. I can't believe on Catacombs Part 1, I ended up picking up half a Spirit Heart as of right now. That's pretty embarrassing considering I had two nail charges. So I got hit at least three times. Maybe more. Okay, so we do have a deal with the Devil opportunity, but there's nothing much we can do about that. Open up Cheat Engine again, add item when entering the next room, and we're gonna go down to the Wrath of the Lamb section, which is gonna have Nun's Habit at some point. Um, I mean, I could just give myself Epic Fetus, but at some point that's just not fun, you know? I, we had Epic Fetus very recently, so I think this is a more fun option, shall we say. By the way, I should give myself a flying item at some point as well. So there's our Nun's Habit. Turn this off. Come all the way up here and turn this off as well. Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm not so... Now I know we're going to be able to get... Uh, we're not going to lose health, I should say. Provided I'm using my Nun's Habit and Nail effectively, I should never lose health unless, you know, a pill comes along. Hey, range up. That's a benefit, I guess. Um, but, you know, I I'm still need to make sure I gain health as we move forwards. I mean, I could just give myself, like, uh, lard every floor or the relic every floor, I suppose, but that's... Uh, not what I want to do long term for sure. So again, since we're on a non-XL floor here, uh, I feel like I should beat the entire floor before I fight the boss. Rather than just beat the boss and give myself an item right off the- Oh, come on. Well, there's a nail for us. <laughs> so in, in a weird way, that did sort of work out for us. And of course there is now, if I come across a blood bank, uh, that's really beneficial for us because I can like Play the Blood Bank, get a lot of Spirit Hearts out of that, and in fact, maybe Bloody Penny would be a good pickup for that, because then I could get myself back to full health again. But now, what do we take on this floor? We could take something that gives us extra damage, a la, you know, Quad Shots, Polyphemus, both of those are really good with, in conjunction with Mom's Knife. Or, we could take something like Flying that would give us the ability... Uh, that was stupid of me. Um, we could take something like Flying that gives us the ability to probably take less damage. In fact, I might go with... Ah, oh, that was awful. Ah, oh, but hey, we're back. Uh, I might go with something like Spirit of the Knights as our next item. But so far, this is not going as fantastically as I thought. We're on Catacombs Part 2, and we only have three health and one Spirit Heart, despite having the nail. We could also, of course, get the battery or something. But I think, my thinking is, I can't possibly lose health at this point, right? Like... I don't know. The other thing with Guppy's Paw is that if we took Guppy's Paw, 
Ah, oh, god damn it. If we took Guppy's paw at this point, we could also get the Whore of Babylon and like guarantee ourselves permanent curse state, which would mean I wouldn't have to take any other items from a damage perspective, right? Like, let me think about that for a second. So on this floor, I take Guppy's paw. Oh, but I can't stick with Guppy's paw, so I'd have to, but because I'd have to go with a nail after that. Hmm. Hmm. I have to stick with the nail. There's no question about that. But it, what my thinking is, you know, get get Guppy's paw, then take the nail back. Because if I have the nail and the wafer, I can't possibly be killed, I think. Because every time I get hit, unless I get hit by things that do double damage, I guess. But does that even work with the wafer? I don't think so. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about right now, I'm making myself go cross-eyed. I think we'll take the ability to fly on this floor. And then we'll take Wafer maybe on after we beat Mom. And we'll take Quad Shot or Polyphemus in between. So we would have had a second cube of meat. That's the other strategy I guess I could have done is just stack cubes of meat constantly. Yeah, I think we'll take Flying on this floor, which might allow me to amass some more Spirit Hearts. Uh, we'll take... I don't know what I have been saying here. Anyway, let's open up Cheat Engine. I'm not doing as well as I thought, considering I can choose exactly what items I want. So we want Spirit of the Night, which is down here in the Wrath of the Lamb section. Uh, doo -doo -doo, where is that? Let's be Sacred Heart, that would be cool too. Um, Polyphemus, Spirit of the Night, there we go. So we'll take that, we'll head down to the next floor. So now we're going to be flying in Spectral. Health is still an issue at this point, and it looks like this is going to be an XL floor. Which means I will give myself an item between the bosses. Looks like we might have the pink glitch as well. Which would be a problem for us. Well, not really. It's a problem for the loading screen, but that's about it. Take forever. Hopefully Cheat Engine still recognizes that it's it's doing Isaac here. But we shall see. In 30 seconds when Isaac starts responding again. Oh my god, there we go, finally. This is not a pink glitch, it's just a white glitch this time. My favorite Beatles album. So there's Spirit of the Night for us. We'll turn this off. What did I want to get next? Damage followed by the wafer. And then, oh, this is only the depths part one, so it's not an XL floor. So we want maybe Polyphemus or Quad Shot on this floor. I think we'll go Quad Shot. Uh, oh, that was bad. Uh, followed by the wafer. And maybe at that point we'll start stacking... Uh, health or batteries, I guess. So that is another... We're finally gaining a little bit of health here, overall. Uh, I don't think I want to mess with that room because there's not really any point to doing that. So we have Flying, Mom's Knife, Nail, Nun's Habit. Should be enough for us. <laughs> Especially in conjunction with the Wafer later. That was almost a little too close for comfort. Uh, but we'll see, you know, stranger things have happened than, than failing a run like this. And especially when I'm taking like the worst damage you could possibly imagine considering that I am like goddamn flying basically invincible again this is why the battery would be nice I could am amass so many spirit hearts okay so there's another key we might as well get it but there's also no reason it's a weird dichotomy that I've got in my brain right now it's like oh there's a key you should go get it there's a key why would we even need it uh, I guess for golden chests moving forward so let us do that I don't think we're- if we get to the chest, we're not allowed to take any items down there, which is fair. But we do get to take an item for beating Isaac. Like, obviously we get to choose our own item. So there is like a trade-off there. We don't get the four items from the chest, but we do get one item from the Womb Part 2 and one item from the Cathedral of our choice, which normally, uh, we do not get, of course. Again, just awful damage that I'm taking here. There's really no excuse for this. But be thanks to the, uh, Nun's Habit Nail combination, I find myself basically unable to lose health, especially with the Wafer. Uh, this is gonna be great for us. And I'm not even sure I can lose at this point. But I also don't feel like I'm doing that well. It's a weird kind of, uh, problem to be resolved in my brain. I don't know what I even want this guy to give me. Good, just take my money. You need it more than I do. So there's our boss room. Again, it, it's a- I should experience all the rooms before going to the boss room if we're playing properly because I want to use the, all the nail charges I can get. Ah, oh, there's just another spear heart drop randomly, which is great. That's the other thing we could do, I guess, is just get the relic or something. Uh, which would be probably like akin to getting the battery at this point. Maybe even better, but anyway. Let's just go fight the boss here. 
It's good. We would have we would have gotten a third level cube of meat. That's crazy. You can't rely on that happening. And this would be the second run in a row where we would have had that happen for sure. There is a tinted rock down here, which will blow up on its own into a golden chest, which is not really what I wanted out of that. That's okay. He's in permanent walking state, which is great for us because we can just hang out over top of this rock and basically be safe. Deal with the angel. No, thank you. What do you got for me here? Live bomb. We'll pick up this bomb. And what did I want here? I wanted it to be able to do more damage. I want to kill enemies in like one hit, basically. And then we're going to take Wafer from the next one. So I'm going to take uh, Mutant Spider or Polyphemus here. Basically, whichever one I see first. Uh, I know, I always know where Polyphemus is because I use it so often. Where is it? Uh, SMB super fan. Maybe I don't know where Polyphemus is. But I do use it very often. The Miter. Again, something that could be useful. There's Polyphemus right there, so... I guess we'll take that because I don't see Mutant Spider. Oh, there it is right there. Okay, actually, I think Mutant Spider does more damage than Polyphemus compared with Mom's Knife. I don't have any proof to back that up. But that's my estimation from my own personal experience, so we'll head down here. Uh, and I think that's going to allow us to do a ton of damage, so obviously we're just going to turn off the rest of Cheat Engine here. And on this floor, certainly, I cannot forget to take the Wafer, which is probably going to be very difficult for me to find, seeing as I don't know if I've given myself that item very often via the Cheat Engine. Things like Mom's Knife, those come up pretty often in challenge runs that I do, so I, I know where to look. The wafer, not so much. I mean, Cancer's a good trinket. I'm not sure if it's going to double our rate of fire here, really. Uh, but, you know, maybe I should give myself Mom's Purse or something. No, that is not nearly uh, as beneficial. As This run isn't as imbalanced as I thought. But still, I, I haven't... I'm too lazy to run through the math and figure out if it's mathematically impossible for me to lose. With wafer, nail, nun's habit. Uh, not to mention all the damage we're doing. Even if we didn't have this damage, I think we could just whittle bosses down. Because unless I misuse the nail, it's it's impossible for us to start losing health. I think. So maybe this is a situation where... In some ways, I've outwitted the challenge run. Although, you could argue, possibly, that it's outside of the spirit of the challenge run for me to take a mathematically unlosable situation. But I assure you, it was totally by accident. And now we can do this, which I enjoy a great deal. So we might be able to put ourselves in uh, permanence. Oh, come on. Well, we still could, I guess. I, mean, I guess I technically shouldn't have taken that, but I didn't mean to anyway, because it kind of fucked up our whole situation with the nail. Uh, I was thinking like we could use the IV bag, and then that would build up our charge on the nail, but it won't, because you know, obviously Nun's Habit is not going to work on an item that we're not holding. It's a damn shame, because if that blood bag had lasted a little bit longer, we could have amassed a little bit of health. Alright, bombs are key. Not a good or bad thing at this point, honestly. We're just going to continue moving onwards here. We do have another nail charge coming in the next room. Maybe even sooner if I get hit. Well, I guess there's nothing sooner than the next room, technically. Finally, starting to amass some spirit hearts here. Obviously, our damage is off the charts. We should be able to beat Mom incredibly quickly. And we are going the right way now, so we've already done enough exploration. I'm just trying to remember, what do I need on this floor? The wafer. I need to get... Oh, that was awful. I need to pick up the wafer. And provided I get that, then we're going to start... I don't know what we're going to do after that. Like, what, what items are going to really benefit me after that? Might start stacking more damage. That's shitty, I guess. Uh, I guess there's no reason not to stack more damage. I could just go for, like, raw health as well. Like, I could just go pick up, you know, the relic. All stats upgrades would be cool, too. Uh, or I could just get Polyphemus and, and get crazy damage. I suppose that's a viable option as well. There's the tower, which is not really that useful for us. So who knows, man? Who knows? Poor Babylon could be awesome if I could just find a way to get myself in that permanent curse state. I totally forgot that I could fly here. I can show you the world. Zombies and the demon nun. Uh, probably not going to be hired by Disney anytime soon, as you can tell. It's the second time we've gotten the small rock showing up. Anyway, what do you got for me, Mom? It's going to be Blue Mom. Summon some of the most dickish enemies in the game to fight us. This all being said, shouldn't represent too much of a threat, all things considered. It's already nearly 50% dead. I just wish Mom's foot would come down, because that's how I primarily choose to do damage. There we go. It's going to be a nice little chunk there. She's 50% dead now. Just going to keep this up. I forgot that I could just, like, stand on top of these rocks. Speed this process up a little bit. 
or at least defend myself a little bit more than I have been. Oh, spider's coming for me. I don't know if it's going to get me, though. Just keep moving around. There we go. That was easy enough. We get the nail. We get uh, another spirit heart. We get the Polaroid, which we have to take. And then I'm thinking Guppy's Paw can make things interesting, but we really want to give ourselves the wafer on this room. So again, add item when entering next room. Wafer. This is going to take us maybe a couple minutes here to look for. So I'm just going to come down here. I imagine it's in like kind of the later items from normal Binding of Isaac. Obviously, it's not a Wrath of the Lamb item. So we're at the nail. We're getting up there. There's only like a hundred or so. We're on number 6B, whatever that is. Oh, there's the wafer right there. 6C. I'll never remember that, but there it is for future reference. So we'll head down to the next floor. And now I, I we might be invincible. Who knows, man? So we're going to take us down here. Turn off add item when entering next room. And I kind of find myself not wanting to stack damage. Instead, find myself wanting to take the compass and, and speed things up a little bit here. This might be good for us. Who knows? Nails charged again. I think we're basically unkillable. I did it totally by accident. I was just trying to... I mean, there's so many different ways you could go on like a choose-your-own-adventure run like this, right? Like, invincibility and good defense is just something that I took... Yeah, we might as well get hit a second time. It's just something that I took to try to make things... Uh, mo most possible for us. I didn't run the math to figure out that it would be a mathematical certainty that we would achieve victory. So I guess at this point we should just, I mean, we maybe go for the compass and then just start stacking damage on top of that. There's no reason not to, I guess. Might as well finish this as soon as possible. Don't mean to sound cocky, but you know, I believe in numbers and Harvey Dent. So we're gonna just hopefully find the boss room as soon as possible. Might as again, might as well just get hit again a second time. If you get hit one, I think that's how you fuck up if you have this combination, is you... Why are you still shooting? Um, is you get hit less than twice on a room. Like, if you get hit an odd number, I think you could end up losing health. Or not getting as much as possible, anyway. But if you get hit an even number, then it's no problem, is it? There's our boss room. So... I think... We are going to... Okay, we would have gotten the fourth level cube of meat, that's so crazy. Not necessarily a rarity for challenge runs, though, to see, like, oh, if I'd just done this vanilla style, we probably would have had a good chance anyway. So I should get hit once more. Bring it on, motherfucker. There we go. That's going to give us the nail charge we rightfully deserve. And despite getting hit like crazy, we actually gained a lot of health on this floor. Or, oh, might as well get hit again, then. Beautiful. Uh, and I'm going to give myself... On this floor, what... I, okay, we're going to give ourselves the compass. So add item when entering next room. And we will give ourselves the compass, which is down here, number 15. This will speed things up for us a little bit. It's not really an item that's going to give us that much efficacy, I guess, but it is going to speed us up here. Thank God I gave myself the compass and immediately got a Curse of Darkness floor. But anyway, turn this off. This will benefit us in the future. And then after this floor, just start stacking damage. Obviously, next is going to be Polyphemus. Uh, beyond that, I don't know. I guess we could just get, like, a second quad shot, but I don't want to break the game. I guess the, the real beauty of this run now is going to be seeing how quickly we can beat those bosses later on. And at this point, I could probably... Uh, it, it's not worth risking. I was going to say I could probably go with Guppy's head. Or Guppy's paw again. I make that mistake every time. Uh, but... I mean, that would potentially give me permanent invincibility from the Polaroid. But is it worth risking failing the run? I don't know. If we had Horror of Babylon, it might be. But I didn't give myself Horror of Babylon, so I don't think it's that important. There's Demon Judgment. What's up, my friend? Uh, it's actually po possibly worth playing Demon Judgment, because we'll get Spirit Hearts for it. We could possibly put ourselves in that permanent cursed state anyway, just by playing him. At the very least, we can amass some more Spirit Hearts basically for free. So let's go talk to him. Does he do one heart damage still? No, only half a heart. So let's do this. Get the nail charges. Beautiful for us. Yeah, she did give us red patch, which we don't want. And there we go. So now we got permanent invincibility. We can't really take what's in this boss room. We're just going to look. It's mom co mom's coin purse. So we got a lot more spear darts now, but also uh, the permanent invincibility from the Polaroid is beautiful. This is a dead end, but it doesn't even bother me. It just means more chance to generate some sweet-ass spirit hearts via the nail. 
And we are basically unkillable at this point. I mean, we have been for a little while. So I think if I do this run in the future, some items are going to have to be banned. Like, I shouldn't be able to take items that give me the ability to just not be hit. It might seem obvious. Uh, but you get my point here. Just keep backing up. At least I didn't just start off the run like Epic Feet is flying. The end. Instead, I took time to put myself in a mathematically unassailable position. And I did it in a somewhat creative way, I suppose. I put it- I put this run together piecemeal. I didn't, like, write down a battle plan before we got started, that's for damn sure. So this guy's just trapped in hell, basically, surrounded by his own bombs. Why are these guys taking so long to kill? Clearly, I am not doing enough damage right now. That needs to change. So there's another nail charge for us. We're just gonna keep going up this way. Hoping that at some point we come across the boss room. That was almost awful damage on my part. Our tarot card is the devil, which is great. We'll be able to tear through uh, the next boss that we fight. Which will definitely be Mom's heart. The real question is, do I want to go Whore of Babylon on this floor? Or do I want to go uh, Polyphemus? Both of them seem so tempting right now. Why I'm incapable of killing these guys quickly is bothering me. Both of them are going to give me huge damage. Uh, I'm just not sure which one would give me more. I think Polyphemus would, even though Horror of Babylon, you might think like permanent curse state, huge damage, but oftentimes I find a little disappointing the damage from uh, from uh, Horror of Babylon. Anyway, we're still trucking along here. Again, the permanent invincibility is a nice touch. The wafer is basically making this a no-brainer at this point. Let's go fight Mom's Heart. I expect that this fight is going to be over very soon. First things first, we're just going to take out the lasers, of course. Then we're going to pop the devil card, and then we're basically just going to tear ass. As you can see, in like two seconds, Mom's heart went down 10%. Maybe even more. Especially if we drop some bombs in here to do a little extra crowd control. Already 50% down. Zombies, obviously, not going to pose too much of a threat in this situation. And the reason I chose this run... Or, the reason I, I chose the name for this run, As You Wish, is actually a, a Princess Bride reference. I meant to mention that earlier, but I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. So, uh, I'm going to give us Polyphemus, mostly because I know how to find that, whereas I don't know where Whore of Babylon is. So we know that Polyphemus is just up here. Somewhere. Maybe I don't know how to find it. There we go. It's item A9. So we're going up to the cathedral, not down to Shoal. That would have been devastating. So we'll take this away. We have Curse of Darkness again, meaning that the compass that we picked up was basically totally worthless. Oh well. Maybe it'll help us on the chest. In the meantime, we should basically just have unbelievable damage. One shot pretty much everything, including champion angel fetuses, which normally are pretty rich when it comes to HP. Anyway, there's another spirit heart for us, despite the fact that we took damage on this room. And we are now one-shotting everything. I do not want to pick that up, even though I don't think it's going to make a difference. I find it funny that my choose your own adventure run is actually gonna take longer than my like quote unquote best run that I've ever had. Very interesting. Sloth didn't die in one hit, which kind of amazed me. He got pretty damn close, but not quite dead. Actually, it took like two and a half. We got a playing card there. We got two of clubs. Doubles our bombs. Not really all that useful. Sorry, Monstro 2. Oh, wow, Monstro 2 is actually going to take three hits. Again, unexpected. He actually hit me, too. Because I'm being super lazy with my dodging at this point. Because there's no risk of failure. What was I thinking with the Choose Your Own Adventure Run? Mo if I didn't take the wafer, things would at least be a little more interesting right now. Because there would be options for my failure. As is, though, we're just going through the motions here to a certain extent. And I apologize for that. It was unintentional. Uh, I mean, it wasn't unintentional of the items I took. But it was unintentional to give myself such safety. Obviously, I want to keep a little bit of a, you know, possibility of failure here, even if it is a choose-your-own-adventure run. So we've got the Sloth here, who again, we know, takes like two and a half hits. It's like two good moms now. That was only like two right there. I guess it depends on the amount of time you have uh, the knife over him. Empress, obviously, this is going to give us Horror of Babylon for one room, which is very beneficial. Widow doesn't stand a goddamn chance. Although it still managed to hit me. <laughs> Alright, so we got more bombs. We're obviously going to pop Empress on this Isaac fight here. And this should just be a goddamn cakewalk. We basically stand right next to him. Just continuously pop the nail. He's already 50% dead. Oh no, we've been hit. Okay, so there's an eternal heart for us. 
Down to the chest. What item do I want to give myself? Um, if I was gonna go for more damage, I would just give myself a second Polyphemus. Or maybe I'll give myself Triple Shot in addition to what we've already got. What is Triple Shot called? Like, Inner Eye? Uh, where is that here? My Reflection. Inner Eye, number, item number two. So we're gonna take that, we're just gonna walk into this next room. and get my mouse pointer off the screen. So I don't know how Triple Shot and Quad Shot work in conjunction with one another, but I'm expecting that this gives us extra damage. Even if it doesn't, it's probably not a huge deal. Anyway, this was the wrong direction to go. But that's okay. Up through here. Uh, now I just gave myself Inner Eye twice, which was an accident, but again... I don't think that has any substantial impact. Let's just see what we would have gotten in the chest. Doctor's remote. Bean. Uh, come on, I don't want to pick it up. Uh, infestation and the feathers. So like three space bar items that I don't consider all that good. And one uh, passive that's decent at best. I think triple shot might have actually canceled out quad shot. It doesn't seem, it seems like we're actually doing less damage. If I do say so myself. We're not- oh, there's a secret room. We're not one-shotting enemies the way I would like to. Mind you, again, doesn't really make all that much of a difference. That's okay. You are all dead. We're just amassing like crazy numbers here. Crate of spirit hearts, I should say. Anyway, death is gonna die so easily. <laughs> this is like a clusterfuck. Uh, oh, I don't have- that's why I keep getting hit. I don't have a uh, permanent invincibility anymore. But it doesn't really matter because I can just stand next to these guys and tank hits anyway. Bring it on, Super Wrath. Boom, ba boom, 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 ba boom, boom, bath. He's got that Super Wrath. That was an accident. Um, I got Mr. Mega. Oh no, it totally invalidates the entire run. Well, not really. Sorry about this, Blue Baby. This is not going to be good for you. So we're just going to stand here and this will mark the end of this run. A run where I didn't prevail because of my Isaac skill. I actually prevailed because of I guess my cunning, which is usually very limited in capacity, but managed to work out fairly well here. But in any case, thank you to Pa Koopa for that challenge to run suggestion. I think that run could work a lot better if we just add some restrictions, like no mathematically invincible runs. But that was a total accident on my part, so I take all the blame for that. But in any case, as always, thank you guys for watching. Continue to suggest your challenge runs, and I will do the ones I deem most appropriate. But as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.